Run 10 seconds from the game clock. Clock operator, please reset the game clock to 39 seconds. Clock will start on my signal. Man, oh man, things have spiraled quickly last few seconds for the Panthers. Look like they're going to have the ball at the 40-yard line, if not for the holding penalty on the return. Now the intentional grounding, which comes with the 10-second runoff. So they've got to go 90 yards in 39 seconds. I don't think the odds are in their favor on this one. As Bridgewater loads up, finds Rodney Smith, who needs to get to the sideline and does. They get a dozen there, 30 seconds. Looks like a little bit of a limp from Teddy Bridgewater, who has missed a game this season with a sore knee. It's actually the other knee, his right knee, the one that he had the you know, career-ending injury uh, in 2016 was the left knee. And again, the decision's fine. Get the completion, get out of bounds, but you got to take some chances with the football, even if you don't want to. Got a bunch of DBs back there, but you got to take some shots if you've got any opportunity to, to get into the end zone. Third down and nine, half a minute to go. Bridgewater facing pressure, lofts it up there. Curtis Samuel had an opportunity at a one handed catch, couldn't haul it in. That was maybe the one they were looking for. Incomplete fourth down. Almost pulled it in. There was a little bit of contact there at the top as well. Just couldn't make the adjustment over the top. But man, that was close. Yeah, he makes that catcher. Not many guys out there. Bridgewater got pounded by Kiki as he let it go. And looking for a flag. There was contact but before that replay that we saw there. Could have easily thrown a flag. 24 seconds, but fourth and nine. They just barely get that thing off. This is going to be a free play. He knows it, heaves it up there. It's intercepted, but it is likely an offsides penalty on the Packers. And we would do the fourth down again. The defenders were, were watching the 25-second clock. Defense number 55. Five-yard penalty. Repeat fourth down. Watching the 25-second clock, and they thought it hit zero, so that's why Zadarius Smith is coming off and pointing. But watch here as the ball goes up in the air. Right there, it looked like there was a little bit of contact that maybe turned him, but from that angle, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot there. Yeah, it would, have been a, uh, it would have been a tough one for Packers fans to swallow had they called it. Here we go, fourth and four. 18 seconds. Looking for a miracle. What? What? Incomplete, and that's going to do it. Intended for Anderson, who had a very quiet night and uh, kind of a fitting finish there. Out of his reach, 24-16, and that's going to do it. Hey, you're caught in between there, fourth and four. You got to get the first down, but you also need to push the ball down the field a little bit. And here, it looked like Robbie Anderson just stopped his route. Teddy trying to hit the out and get out of bounds and the first down. A little miscommunication there, unfortunately. But give credit to Carolina, the way they battled back in the second half. I thought this was going to be a blowout early in the game, and defense stepped up. Offense made a few plays, but just not enough offensively for them tonight. So the Packers, who clinched a second consecutive division title last week, getting closer to clinching the one seed and home field advantage in the first round bye, and all those good things for Aaron Rodgers and Green Bay. Yeah, a lot of good things ahead. And, you know, it's going to be fun to watch how this plays out. It's a good football team that we saw tonight. Showed it early in the game. Fell off a little bit, but... Uh, they really like what they have and what they're building here, and uh, we've talked about it all night. Aaron Rodgers had a strong season, very comfortable in this. It's going to be a tough place to come to play if they're able to hold on to this number one seed. That rule on the Panthers, meanwhile, fought a 4-10 and ten in what could have been so many times this season, eight of the ten losses by one score. So for Kurt Warner and Melissa Stark, Joe Davis saying so long from Green Bay with the Packers move to 11-3. Stay tuned for the Mercedes-Benz postgame show coming up next.